नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम योर को होस्ट शावनी मैम वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट लर्निंग चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन ऑटोट्रोफ्स एंड हेटरोट्रोफ्स सो वी नो दैट देर आर टू डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन वन इज ऑटोट्रोफिक न्यूट्रिशन एंड द अदर इज हेटरोट्रोफिक न्यूट्रिशन एंड द ऑर्गेनिजम्स दैट फॉलो दिस न्यूट्रिशन आर कॉल्ड ऑटोट्रोफ्स एंड हेटरोट्रोफ्स रिस्पेक्टिवली सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन देम okay so we will see the first character on which we can difference or make a difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs so first is the type of organisms so the type of organisms that are included under autotrophs are usually the members of plant kingdom okay and also there are certain unicellular organisms like cyanobacteria okay and under heterotrophs all the members are of animal kingdom okay then the second character we would mention is the mode of nutrition so they have an autotrophic mode of nutrition because they are autotrophs so they are producers which means they prepare their own food okay they can prepare their own food and they do not depend on other organisms for obtaining food and the process by which they prepare their own food is called photosynthesis now heterotrophs follow heterotrophic mode of nutrition and they are consumers so they cannot prepare their own food they depend upon they depend on other organisms other organisms for food okay so the third character would be the presence of chloroplasts presence of chloroplast so the chloroplast help in preparation of food it is the site of photosynthesis which is present in autotrophs okay and this is the site where the process of photosynthesis takes place by which these organisms prepare their own food whereas in case of heterotrophs it is absent okay because they do not prepare their own food hence they do not have chloroplasts okay then the fourth character is the energy obtained energy is obtained from so in case of autotrophs the energy is obtained from in organic sources in organic sources they obtain energy from these in organic sources by converting light energy by converting light energy into chemical energy then in case of heterotrophs they obtain energy from other organisms they obtain energy by feeding on by feeding on other organisms okay 
then the next character would be in food chain so in case of food chain what happens autotrophs they occupy or they are placed at the primary level placed at the primary level primary level of food chain ok and these heterotrophs are placed in the they are placed in the secondary secondary or tertiary level tertiary level in the food chain ok so as autotrophs are those which produce their own food they are placed at the primary level and heterotrophs they feed on either autotrophs or other animals so they are placed in the secondary or tertiary level in the food chain ok then we will talk about locomotion ok so usually plants which are included under autotrophs they cannot move so plants cannot move ok whereas the animals ok animals can move that are included under heterotrophs they can move now we will mention a few examples ok so the examples would un include examples would include plants algae and photosynthetic photosynthetic bacteria ok and in case of heterotrophs we can mention cow lion humans etc so these are heterotrophs ok so now we will quickly revise the things that we have studied so we saw that the type of organisms that were included under autotrophs were all the members of plant kingdom and cyanobacteria ok then under heterotrophs there were there were the members of animal kingdom then the mode of nutrition in autotrophs was autotrophic mode of nutrition they were pro producers that prepared their own food by the process of photosynthesis whereas in case of heterotrophs they followed heterotrophic mode of nutrition and they were consumers that dependent that were dependent on other organisms for food then based on the presence of chloroplast autotrophs uh, were those organisms ok which had chloroplast present in them whereas in case of heterotrophs the chloroplast was absent so the energy obtained in case of autotrophs energy was obtained from inorganic sources by converting light energy into chemical energy whereas heterotrophs obtain energy by feeding on other organisms then in food chain these autotrophs were placed at the primary level whereas heterotrophs were present in the secondary or the tertiary level in case of locomotion we saw that the members of plant kingdom could not move whereas all the members of the animal kingdom showed locomotion they could move then we mentioned a few examples examples of autotrophs were plants algae photosynthetic bacteria and examples of heterotrophs are cow lion humans etc ok now i am going to show you a few 
pictures now that we have studied about autotrophs and heterotrophs you will be telling me that these are autotrophs or heterotrophs so the first picture we can see here are the plants okay so these are plants and we had studied that plants are autotrophs they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis so the first picture is of plants and they are autotrophs now here is a picture of rabbits they are feeding on some grasses okay so these are rabbits okay these are rabbits rabbits are heterotrophs okay they are basically herbivores which feed on plants okay then this image is of lion okay and lion is also a heterotroph okay it is also a heterotroph it is basically a carnivore it is carnivore as it feeds on other animals okay and rabbits are herbivores herbivores which feed only on plants or plant products and we saw that these were plants which were autotrophs which prepared their own food okay so i hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video please do not forget to like and share the video till then thank you for watching